morning. I wrap Steam with your morning flash update. And this update is for the morning of Thursday, the 27th of April, 2023, 8.20 p.m. Central Time. Well, the stock market is up. We've seen a big sell-off in the gold. Uh, take a look at that. That's $25 off the high. Silver market, 50 cents off the high. Copper market still dropping down. Platinum down. Dollar came up at the expense of some of the currencies. Take a look at that. Why? We'll get to it in one second. In the grain market, still ideal planting weather. We are seeing on the news that in parts of America, we are seeing flooding, we are seeing rivers overflow, as snowpacks start melting and so on. But folks, the farmers are way ahead. Whatever replanting, you always do a certain amount of replanting. Remember that. Just keep it in the back of your mind. Weather is creating a havoc, and it typically does. Look at the bonds and notes. Look at how they're adding back yield. So why is this going on this morning? Well, you had the advanced GDP. Now, one hand will say to you, hey, they were looking for 2%. 1.9 was the Bloomberg number. They only got 1.1%, and in the fourth quarter, it was 2.6, so it's falling. Yes, it is not growing at the same pace it was, but it's not shrinking either. It's still growth. Number two, the chain-weighted price index, inflation. Up 4%. PCE index up 4.2 over the final 3.7. I can go on and on with you. These are inflationary numbers. Your Fed has two mandates, full employment and inflation. Their job is not worrying about anything else other than that. Yes, the banking system, they're responsible in part for that. So is the Treasury. And when you look at things, how I view it, there's nothing here to take the Fed off a of May hike, nothing at all. So I think it's baked in 25 basis points and making the matters even further in that oven, crank it up to 450 degrees. Your jobless claims fell to 230,000 and even the continuing claims fell back. So you read about all these layoffs, you see it, but people are finding jobs if they want them. We said that would be the case in spring and summer, uh, into early summer, and it's what you're getting. National Association of Realtors pending home sales should be interesting. They're looking for it to go up a half a percent compared with the prior month's eight-tenths, but we're seeing that it's a surprise that, uh, in especially new home sales, they're up an even price. Energy analysts forecasting this week's NIA number to come in at 72 billion cubic feet. That's way more than the average at this time of the year. The Kansas City Fed comes out this afternoon. I'm sorry, this, uh, at 10 o'clock this morning. And they're looking for their index for their manufacturing composite down 2% or down two points, I should say, from the prior month is how, it, how the number's reading. Then we'll get some Fed numbers in the afternoon. Uh, money supply, things of that nature. I think you want to pay attention to that as well. But overall, is there anything here to stop the Fed? No. Does the market like what it's seeing out of the tech sector? Absolutely. Looking at Microsoft's growth, you're looking at what's going on in Meta, up nearly 12%. You have good things going on. And so far, are the earnings season a beat or a miss? I think it's a beat so far. And I told you, you'll keep hearing people saying, well, when's that season going to turn down and everything? It keeps getting pushed back. The market's absorbed, past tense, the Fed tightening. We are coming to the end of it. Is that one, two, or three hikes? I don't know, but it's probably in that number. And then that lag effect will weigh on the market, and those are the things that will happen. But do I think that we're going with the quarter point? Absolutely. Do I think you'll get opportunities in the currencies on breaks to take another good look at them? Absolutely. Remember, tomorrow we get the uh, in Japan. We get their monetary policy meeting and the first look at Mr. Ueda. So you want to take a look at all that. Now, I'll be writing about this and a heck of a lot more in my complete research. I put out two reports a day, minimum, Monday through Thursday, a Sunday night report and a Friday morning report as well. Special updates. Tell you what I'm seeing in the market, point you in directions, then I back it up in the morning with videos and I go through 40 charts on futures, stocks, ETFs, showing you what I'm seeing. That's 40 for both the futures and then 40 for the ETF stocks and so on. I'd like to show you how I come about it, what my rationale is, look at daily and weekly charts. Takes up a little bit of your time in the morning, but it's all before the trading day really gets going, and I think you'll like what you see with that. So how do you get this? Because I want to put it in your mailbox for you. It's that simple. 
you just have to go to free offers on our website. So you go to www.irapstein.com, free offers, or move your cursor up to the top up there at any point. That'll take you to the same spot. I'm Ira. I'll see you at the end of the day with our market wrap-ups. Trade well.